Hello, Unbrittany here with a look at my full RC mod of the LEGO Technic Bugatti Bolide 4151. I took one power function's large motor as well as a servo motor for the purposes of motorization. The large motor is located in the same place as where the W16 engine was previously and I never bothered adding a differential, instead I just kept the solid axle. Despite that, the car still turns decently well. My favorite aspect of my mod is easily the drifting. If you drive the car forward and then immediately immediately reverse the motor, the car will actually bounce a little and the wheels will slip. It is an incredibly fun feature and you should absolutely try to make a similar mod to mine. The servo motor is located at the front and is directly connected to the 12 tooth gear which is moving the gear rack. If we open up the beautiful scissor doors, you will see that the infrared receiver is located directly behind the servo motor. There is a tiny gap at the top between the gear and the panel that allows the infrared signal to pass through. I kept the hand of God steering gear gear simply for aesthetics and it does not serve any purpose. In comparison to the unmodified blue version, the yellow one looks almost the same but it does have the visible servo motor and at the bottom the chassis are basically identical with the main difference being the motor on the RC version. You may be asking, how could I have possibly fit in a power supply into such a tiny set? LEGO's official battery boxes are simply too big for the model, so I came up with an alternative solution. If we take off the back of the car, you will be able to see that I can connected a small 9 volt crone battery to the infrared receiver. Pay very close attention as I am about to tell you how to do this properly and simply buying a third party adapter like this will not work and it will instead short circuit your battery. First, take a basic power functions battery box and remove its screws. Then take off the lids and pull the two main pieces apart. Carefully remove the circuit board. On the newer style power functions battery boxes, there will be a capacitor at the positive terminal. Make sure not to remove it. Connect these two on the left. And and these three metallic ends. This simulates the battery box being turned on. Use something conductive like a piece of exposed wire and then use electric tape to secure the metal. Take a 9 volt crone battery snap on adapter and then secure the positive end to the red wire on the circuit board and the negative one to the black one. Once you insulate everything it should look something like this and you can now safely use it with your Bugatti Bow lead. Will you be modifying your bow lead like mine? Please let me know in the comments. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.